peak uh, gestation fetal echocardiogram done at uh, different place and uh, i was sent uh, the images on the whatsapp group and this is what the images show that's an atrial rate atrial rate was about 60 and the ventricular rate was varying between 120 and 130 so this uh, was enough an idea that there was episodes of bradycardia with pus of tachycardia and we now know that the ventricular rate is higher than the atrial rate so if we have a ventricular rate higher than the atrial rate in a tachycardia it is a ventricular tachycardia and not an atrial tachycardia the patient was asked to be with us and to review the case and uh, that's uh, uh, on the left side video clip you see there is a 2 is to 1 AV block while on the right clip there shows uh, uh, tachycardia we don't know which tachycardia but let's now analyze this so at least we know this is a tachy and brady syndrome in the same fetus i'll come down to the importance of this uh, after a couple of slides now there was a confusion whether it's a ventricle tachycardia or a supraventricle tachycardia because this was seen in an institute as well so number of consultants uh, they had a varied opinion majority of them thought that this is an atrial fibrillation but if you notice carefully the ventricular rate is higher than the atrial rate but i would i would make things little more easy to show you uh, to convince you that this is a ventricle tachycardia for sure so the consultant had the, the limitation, thought it's an intermittent atrial fibrillation because they thought ventricle tachycardia is extremely rare. Now the first way I want to tell you is that in case you are having a look at the video sc screen of your machine or you are looking at a video clip of a tachycardia, for example in this, you are not sure whether the atrial rate is regular or not, you just put your hand or a screen on one side and just look at the atrium. Now look at the right atrium, it is absolutely regular while there was a tachycardia in the ventricle. So this clearly shows you atrioventricular discordance indicating a ventricular tachycardia. Another couple of features of ventricle tachycardia are on the M mode. If you see here, there is a, this is the tricuspid valve which is opening regularly and you see notice here, despite the ventricle contractions, despite ventricle contractions, the tricuspid valve did not open. Okay, this is a very clear indication that this is a ventricle tachycardia. Ventriculars are contracting, but the, uh, the AV valve is not opening. On a color Doppler, you see lot of things and tachycardia happening here at the apex, while the AV flow is almost regular. Again, trying to convince you that this is a ventricle tachycardia. We, uh, you can you know, watch my YouTube channel for an anatomical uh, M mode and this is something which has really been very fascinating. You can have an M mode line both on ventricles and atria separately. Both are synchronous so you can actually connect the dots. So now this is the atrial rate. This is the red one. This is the red line. This M mode, anatomical M mode shows atria which is a regular rate. But this is the ventricular rate which was regular here but you know you can see there is a sudden start of a ventricular tachycardia beyond doubt this is ventricular tachycardia then with a normally maintained dissociated atrial rhythm now again see the ventricular tachycardia and you see the dissociated atrial rhythm which is absolutely regular and slower than the ventricular tachycardia now we have no doubts that this was a ventricular tachycardia so now I, I just want to tell you what is a triad of torsidy point is. The first thing in torsidy point is, is that it's a first ph phenomena is you have either atrial bradycardia but this patient had the event atrial rate in between dipped to about 60 and more than that then in this patient you see there is a 2 is to 1 AV block. Now this 2 is to AV in block and sinus a bradyrhythmia forms one component of long QT interval and a second component of 
long QT interval related ventricle tachycardia is that on an M mode the ventricle tachycardia is not regular. It's irregular. This is again a marker of torsity point is and beat to beat variation tells you that the beat to beat variation in a ventricular contraction because of the torsity point is so because uh, the ventricular origin of the tachycardia varies now beat to beat variation and all other features are put together to make a diagnosis of torsity point is in this patient